Edward Stevenson from TimelessWealth.net and the following is basic technical analysis for Rambus Incorporated stock symbol RMBS. The last time I had annotated this chart it looked exactly the way it does right now in front of you and this note basically summed up this trading session right here which was a breakout trading session above average volume. As a result of when I had originally profiled it when I said this doji candle represented potential reversal and trend following this downtrend and confirmation would need to be seen before any sort of move of this nature occurred. It had done so and as a result the market appreciated some rather 30% from 1521 to what was a new high at nearly $20. In other words a very considerable appreciation in the market for a stock such as RMBS. Originally I had mentioned this was a supporting trend line, however following Thursday's trading session the market broke below it and once supporting trend lines are broken below they become resisting trend lines. So that's why both these trend lines are indicated in red, they represent resistance. At this point in time, why do I offer an update on this chart? One main reason, the fact that I believe this stock has been working in cycles this is the line I want you to focus on, this diagonal green line. It has a rich history to it dating back to May. It was resistance as you can see the price peaked and fell down after bumping its head at resistance. So this was a resisting trend line at one point in time. However, over here the market broke above it and as resistance trend lines are broken they do become support and ever since this has supported the price in a very strong manner dating back to July you can see the price bottomed at 14.33 and rallied to 17.42 so that was the first wave the market declined and then rallied from 15.21 to 19.94 which was the second wave and again notice both of these were supported by this very same trend line and again once the market declined to 1562 it rallied to 1870 again supported by this trend line now we have approached it for what is the fourth time and hopefully we will see a very similar event Friday's trading session potential reversal signal this is known as a doji or rather a spinning top candle and what I would look for would be for the market to appreciate on Monday's trading session regardless of how much it closes up if it closes up it will give a confirming reversal signal and hopefully we will see some sort of appreciation similar to this one but better yet something of this nature so to indicate these cycles I just like to use these vertical lines just give me a moment to put all three in I'm just comparing it to the near term, so dating back to when I had originally profiled it in the beginning of August. And I just want to take a look at three leading indicators that I follow relative strength index, full stochastics, and money flow index. So I just named all three in order. As you can see, what I'm looking for is something similar in nature to occur. Relative strength index looks very similar in all three cases oversold in all three cases and as a result the market appreciates or rebounds. Full stochastic similar story and even money flow index. So to sum up the likely event is that if we see a confirming reversal signal the market appreciates and the market rallies. I don't know to what kind of an extent it rallies. These are the resisting trend lines that it will have to tackle following any sort of appreciation or uptrend in the market. The unlikely event is that the market breaks below parabolic SAR, which is currently at 1603. That would be bearish. And the fact that this is an unlikely event means it could still happen. However, more likely than not, we will see some sort of action, again, hopefully, that has occurred three consecutive times now, coming off of this very important supporting trend line. Once again, this was Edward Stevenson from TimelessWealth.net. I would encourage you to subscribe to my free newsletter for overlooked trading and undervalued investing ideas. Thank you for listening.